everybody and welcome to the next installment of some top tricks and tips for Excel. So one of the things that I love to do in Excel is almost limit people to what they can actually type <laughs> and this is something called data validation. So in this example I have um, a really small table which has student ID numbers and we can see there's also a grade column that is empty at the minute. So I want to make sure that everybody who is inputting data into this table is inputting it in the correct way and this will really help later on down the line when it comes to further data analysis such as visualization and so forth. So at the minute anybody can type in anything here so I can literally type hello and it will accept that but obviously that is not a valid grade that I want people to enter. So to solve this issue what I'm going to do is just highlight all my selected columns that I want the data validation to go into. I'm going to click the data tab at the top here and I'm going to click the data validation option. So I'm just going to click on that and it will pop up with this little um, pop-up box here which will allow me to do the data validation. So what I want to do is essentially, um, I don't want to allow any value, I want just to create a list of options that people can use. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the list option and then I'm going to type in um, essentially the data that I want people to be able to enter. So I'm going to go for pass, merit and distinction and they're all going to be separated by a comma as you can see there. So there's three separate values, my pass, merit and distinction. I could add a fail here if I wanted to but I'm not going to uh, <laughs> keep it positive and all I'm going to do is press OK once I'm happy with what data that I want to be inputted. So go ahead and click OK and you can see now in my grade um, cell here I can click this drop down option and it will give me the choice between what data I want to pop into that cell. So it could be a pass, it could be a merit and it could be a distinction. So it just makes it really easy for everybody to use especially when there's lots of people collaborating on one document and just make sure that the data that you're entering is all neat, it's all concise and it all matches up and aligns with what you want it to be. Hopefully that helped you. If you do have any tips and tricks please do share them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Bye!